How to make leek soup. Welcome to Cook Vegan. I'm Farah Shamas and I'm going to show you how to make this delicious vegan soup um, using leek and sweet potato and of course a standard onion and garlic. Oh my goodness, we love onion and garlic and it's so good, especially at this crazy time of this world pandemic, but also just um, anytime, especially during winter, it's so good for you, uh, full of antioxidants, um, full of immune boosting properties, so definitely try and get those in. And really guys, especially garlic, people are always put off by it thinking they're going to smell or anything else, but if it's only a tiny bit, it's really fine. At least, I don't know, I think so. So I re I'm heating my um, soup pan here, and I'm putting some olive oil, about four tablespoons at the bottom of this pan. Again, as I always say, you could put a bit less, a bit more, or even just a bit of stock water um, and heat that, um, use that rather than to heat your, or saute your onions and garlic. So here I've got one nice, um, not overly large, but large onion chopped up in small bits and two um, garlic cloves here. Um, now this soup is going to be eventually um, blended, so you don't have to worry too much about the size or um, uh, the shape of how you cut your vegetables. We just want to make them small enough that they'll cook quickly because if you're like me, you're a busy mama or busy papa um, or just a busy person coming in, a lot of us don't have a lot of time, um, so we're just super busy. So like I've just picked up the kids, come home, thank goodness I have some other food here ready that they're probably just running while I'm filming this and get their, their cake. Um, I'll actually show you what we've what we prepared earlier. So we have our stuffed um, zucchini or stuffed courgettes. So those are that recipe, which is one with a white wine and herb Mediterranean base, and the other is with a tomato sauce more traditional. Those are already on this YouTube channel. So do check out that video as well. And guys, don't forget to subscribe because especially if you hit your notification button, then you're just gonna um, uh, be informed whenever I put up a new video. And really, Cook Vegan is all about easy, nutritious food. So it's not you know, me here looking perfect and pristine and showing you how to make these things and saying they're easy, but actually it takes you two hours and they taste really average and bland. This is really yummy food that is really quick and easy to make and um, your whole family are going to appreciate it and your doctors will appreciate it when you feel better and healthier so it's just good for everyone. Right, now I'm sauteing this and um, mm, the smell is amazing. So I'm not going to let that get too golden because I want to put in the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to add in our sweet potatoes. Now I've got here and cut into nice... Um, chunks. Um, again, you don't have to worry too much about the size, this is going to be blended, but you can see the size they are here. I'll let me zoom in. Um, uh, it, it's good to have them like smaller basically because they're going to just saute and get the flavors and just cook quicker. So if you are in a rush, like me, three kids at home, and a husband's feed, then the smaller you manage to cut them, you, yeah, you don't have to dice them too small, but yeah, it's, it's the better. So I'm just going to basically coat that with the olive oil that's in there. And I'm really not going to leave this in for too long now. I just want that to get some of the flavours. And here I've got the rest of the ingredients ready, so if you have not cut up everything, I have three leeks here, again, cut only into about just over a centimetre. So they're already here. You could be doing this as you're moving along, but I've got everything ready, like blue pizza for those of you who remember that in the UK. I'm showing my age now. Um, yeah, so that's all ready. And I've got one vegetable stock cube, and I've got my turmeric, my ground cinnamon. I've got here delicious crushed um, chili pepper, and uh, salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna put that like that. Okay. Right, I could use that for a bit more, but why when we can do things quicker and easier. So now I'm adding in our delicious, delicious, delicious leek, which is the main part of the ingredients. Now the sweet potatoes will really give it that creaminess. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys know this recipe with normal potatoes. 
You can always do this with normal potatoes. I personally will always opt for sweet potatoes over white potatoes. Both have a lot of nutrients, a lot of health benefits, but sweet potatoes are more alkaline and more alkaline for the body, so better to fight off um, uh, viruses and infections. And if you do have an autoimmune disease, they've also got lots and lots of um, delicious properties in them, and they're very filling. And I think they even help promote weight loss. Not that I'm worried about that, but um, yeah, they're just delicious and they're so good for you. So, um, and I personally find that they're creamier and just more tasty. So now that I've just coated that with everything, and again, you could leave that for a minute, but I don't want anything to stick to the pan. So I'm just gonna add my water here, and then I'll add the spices to that. So I had here one litre of um, cold water. Yeah, if you've got hot, then even better. And actually, I'm gonna put all of that in. So for the ingredients that I've used here and the size of my sweet potato and leeks and everything else, this means that the water is just covering everything nicely. You can come in and have, come on in, come on in and have a look. So you can see, so that's just covered everything nicely. Everything's not too tightly packed here. We've got space to turn everything around and that's gonna come to boil really nicely and get all the flavors in. Um, again, you know, you've always got to be a bit flexible with your um, quantity of water. Okay, if I was measure every, everything perfectly, then maybe not, but because I say three of this and three of that, it all depends on the size. And then of course you you avoid having waste. If I um, told you by grams, then you might be left with a chunk of leek that you don't know what to do with, or you can always be flexible here. So I'm adding here my um, vegetable stock, and I'm gonna start adding in all the other ingredients. So with the turmeric, Mm, and this is so good, it's so good for everyone. Try and have some of this every day, especially in winter, but any time of the year. And I personally found that I have a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric a day. I just bung it on the side of whatever I'm eating. Um, you don't need to have pills or supplements for this. You can just get this, it's super affordable. Um, I get a big bag of it and then I use reuse one of my gherkin um, jars or any other jar I've got. So I'm adding one heat um, teaspoon of um, turmeric because we love turmeric. If you want, you can add in just a normal teaspoon or slightly less, and I'll stir that in as well. But it's just so good for you, good for the children. And I personally found since I started having it that um, I don't get as cold as I used to get. So I was always, uh, and I live in a country that's boiling most of the year, but I was always slight breeze and I, my circulation wasn't that great. And since I've started this, I've even told friends about it, I really feel so much better. So ground um, cinnamon, I'm going to put just half um, a teaspoon of that, just to give a nice um, sweetness to everything. And then just a pinch of these um, chili pepper crushed, that's what it says here, but basically crushed um, chili flakes. So just a pinch of that. But for us, not too many, we've got kids as well. Just a little pinch there. And, um, and then salt and pepper to taste. Again, that is very personal, salt and pepper. And also it depends if you've got your stock um, is salted or not. So I prefer to get ours not. So I'll just put a little bit of pepper there, again, which will just bring out some nice flavor and is also incredibly good for you, black pepper, who knew? And um, here I've got Himalayan salt, again, in my reused um, jelly bellies that and I think I got this as a kid and yeah, waste not, one not. And again, plastic, oh, I hate plastic, but um, these spoons that you get with anything that you get for children from the pharmacy. So here I'm just adding probably even less than half a teaspoon worth of Himalayan salt. You can of course use sea salt as well, which is also really good for your iodine. If you get iodized sea salt, um, that I don't have, I've run out of, otherwise I probably would have used that. And Himalayan salt also is very good for you. So now I'm just gonna mix all of that in. It's already all dissolved. All the flavors, oh my goodness, it's so delicious. And um, once that's now stirred in, nice and evenly, I'm gonna bring that to boil, and then I'm gonna lower the heat to uh, a medium. But when I say medium, it's probably about six, so not a uh, five, just to keep it still um, bubbling away. And um, this will only need 20 minutes, but again, check your ingredients. It depends how, uh, how you've cut everything up. So I'll show you in a bit when this is done and how it's blended and how easy that is. 
Okay, so I've just turned that off now after exactly 20 minutes on, mm, because I can just see that that's done. Look, literally we touch those sweet potatoes and they just fall apart. So that means they're perfectly ready to be blended. That's what we want. The leeks, they don't take very long. The more they're stewed in here, just the tastier they become and the softer. Um, to be honest, if you like having chunky vegetable soup, you could even have a bit like, like this, so good. But really, leek soup is supposed to be that creamy blended yumminess. So I'm gonna just move that over here again. As I say, with all our soup, our blended soup recipes, you can, of course, do this in your blender, in your um, uh, food processor, in anything that you want. Let me see now if I can find my, yes. But I'm gonna use a hand blender here. And of course you can transfer this into a bowl or obviously within a blender anyway. But I'm just gonna put that here so that I can do that, hopefully not splashing myself all over the place, but um, splashing the soup rather, but I'll show you now how we do that. So I'm just going to blend that all together. And you can see it blends so easily. There we go, without too much of a mess, and literally I've just whizzed that for less than 30 seconds and it's already done. But this is the, oh, if you can see that, that's the consistency you want. So we wanted enough water over that so that we do have this beautiful, it's not a puree as I have been quoted saying before, it is very much a soup. So it's still soft and light. Um, there's nothing stringy in there. It's all blended beautifully. And there you go. Hey presto, your delicious leek soup is ready with your sweet potato, creaminess in it, all the goodness, all the minerals. You've got your herbs as well and it's just delicious for all the family. So I hope you've enjoyed this cooked vegan video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and push on your notifications button so you get your pushes and your notifications and you know whenever I posted a new recipe. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Check out my Facebook group as well, Cook Vegan, and I'll see you all super soon. Bye.